Hi, welcome to Downey Live. My name is Michael. I work for Mega Cranes, and today we will be climbing up 200 feet on uh, Tower Crane. Today I am taking a fall protection course from the Worksite Safety Compliance Center. It's an online course because I'm going to be taking you somewhere very dangerous that requires I have my fall protection certificate. I, I don't know why I just went like this. I actually need my fall protection certificate. So it's an online course. Let's see what this is like. Ooh, a nice corporate video. Step one, working at heights. My name is Marcus, and I'm here to help you with this course. Marcus just told me there are 14 modules. This is not how I wanted to spend my Sunday afternoon. Now let's get started. Drum roll, please. Dun, da, da, da. Completed. You know, Marcus, you weren't such a bad instructor after all. Now that I went through the whole course and I have my fall protection certificate, Let's get out of here and put it to use. Morning. How are you doing? Mike? Mike. I'm Mike. Mike. This is Mike. Hey. I'm Mike. What are we doing today? Uh, we're going to be climbing one of our uh, biggest cranes um, that we have out right now. It's TCK 2560. So we're going up that thing? Yeah. All right, after checking with, in with the superintendent and an obligatory stop at the construction porta potty, I'm all geared up, have my safety vest on, hard hat, steel toed boots, harness over my shoulder, and my certificate in hand. I'm ready to go up the crane. Pretty much? Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. There we go. lunch bag. The trick here is you have to be attached to the crane somehow at all times. So they have two of these. So I'm going to clip one in and I have another one. And I always need to have at least one clipped on. Clipped. afraid of heights this job is not for you also if you're afraid of tight spaces it's not really for you because you're always on these tiny ladders and they're tricky to operate on it's not as easy as you think but it does have an incredible view you can hear it humming so much electricity in there That's quite a lot of machinery to operate. Oh, cozy chair, it looks like a dentist chair. Oh, it is rickety though, I can feel it shaking. Is that just because of the wind and, and you know, we're precariously perched, exactly. hanging over a crane's edge. But the whole, the whole thing is shaking. Wow. This is, it's like playing a video game. You have your joysticks here and you just get your radio controls and away you go working with your rigger on the ground who gives you directions. If you can't see a point, they're there clearing the way and giving directions, hooking things up for you. You have foot pedals to operate your radio so that you guys can, can 
communicate, but you don't have to take your hands off the controls to you know keep hitting. I guess that's pretty much what I expected. There's really not much to this cab or this chair. It's just a few controls, but the best view. Thanks, Mike. That was a great time. Uh, I get to keep the hat, which is a nice souvenir. Something off the bucket list. So thanks very much. No problem, Mike. That was awesome. Man, Mega Cranes treated me so nicely. Get to keep the hat. I can't believe it's in six feet of concrete only, and it goes 200 feet up in the air. You look at these construction sites, and to most people, they're a burden. They're loud, they're noisy. Road closures mean delays. But there's so much going on inside the construction site to make it all happen. Those crane guys are just one part and they work with the whole system to get this building built. It's really an amazing process and I'm really lucky that I got to see it. So thank you very much Mega Cranes. For the rest of you, if you guys like this video, you should subscribe to my channel right here. And if you wanna watch more videos like this one, you should watch this video here. Thanks again, see you next time.